Hi everyone. I hope everybody is doing okay. Um, I actually, sorry I've been gone. I had a little blood clot in my arm and it's still there, but my arm's not as bad as it was. So um, I have been working. I just did not want to release the video for specific re reasons. Also, sorry I look like a mess. <laughs> I was messing with my son's goat enclosure today. So, and I just am too tired to do anything with myself so I apologize if I look a mess um, before I get started I just want to say the ways to support me are down below information to my book and, and um, shirts and everything so I did actually um, go out to the desert and I'll talk more about that in a minute and I'll try to do a video connected to this if not it's gonna be a video on its own just depending on what I can edit so I took my time posting this and I want to tell you this is going to be long because it's the first and second reading and it's a little different. Um, so uh, I was took a little bit of time because I was second guessing my reading for the first time in a long time because what people were saying or whatever they thought or, or what they were thinking and it, that was getting back to me. Uh, so after the second reading I felt that it's right so I think it's time but I'm letting you guys know that I'm not going to be listening to people's guesses or beliefs or what they think happened I'm going by what spirit has given me um, it's never led me wrong in the past and you know I am human I make mistakes but I think that I've tried as hard as I can to try to go different directions and I'm just not being allowed to by spirit so it's not always easy a task to go with what we're given and to trust it, but I'm going to have to do that in this instance. Uh, although there's a lot of rumors flying around and all that, I don't know any details about the case. I don't know any names or anything like that, but um, anyways, so the first reading I did January 12, 2021. Things can be past, present, or future. They may be symbolic or have multiple meanings. Any names or people that I describe are just who I see or feel from mediumship or psychic impression. Everyone is innocent until proven guilty. This is for entertainment purposes only and are only psychic medium impressions. Things that are we're talking about uh, may just be clues or reference points. I did not know anything like I said about this story. I tried to stay as blind as I could because I was wanting to go to the area, which I did. I will either, like I said, try to add pictures or videos um, from my trip to this videos or make a separate one, whichever one I can technically do. Things that come in uh, may just be connections and I may get interconnects. However, this reading was pretty focused and I do need to say that I was second guessing when my team member told me, like I said, what people were saying. How the boys never made it to the desert, however, in my EVPs I kept getting desert multiple times as well as Sandy before I went out there. And it felt right going to Cal City and not to Bakersfield for some reason. Because um, I thought about going to Bakersfield and it just didn't feel right. So when I started, when I was second guessing my reading, these things I felt were my validation. I did feel something in a specific area, but by the time I got there, it was getting dark. It was the only place I felt a lot. Now, I did go by the house and <laughs> then the cops came. <laughs> I had gotten out, walked around a bit, looked at the pictures of the things that people put there. I was trying to get a sense in the feel of that house. And um, the house did feel a little heavy, sadness, whatever. And I don't know if that's just from the people going there and placing things or what. But um, I left and when I came back around, a cop was parked at the turn. He did not turn until I put on a blinker going the opposite direction. And then I went, and then he went by the house and sat there, which is kind of ridiculous, only because people are going by and putting stuffed animals. However, I did realize they were getting some vandalism, but I mean, I literally wasn't doing anything. So the whole area has signs that say, "Where are the boys?" This community is very ticked off. One thing, two nights prior to the reading, I had went to sleep asking where they were. Both times, I had seen a metal drainage pipe, so I did check a few today or the, I, I wrote this when I went out on the 13th. Now it can just be a reference point. Um, it may be that they're in one, close to one, or it may have a completely different meaning. But when I was at one today, I turned to leave and the birds started chirping at me. So I don't know if it was random or not, but the area I went to matched the exact root of the reading that I could see what I saw in the reading. Um, I will do more readings to confirm 
everyone had me second guessing my reading and I shouldn't do that. I trust spirit and what spirit gives. And when I first took this case, I did not know the area was in the desert. I immediately saw a desert and then, because I didn't know where Cal City was, I kept thinking it was down in LA. Um, but I kept seeing desert and then I was seeing uh, trees and water and was told park. Now there's a park a couple of minutes away from their house in Cal City and it's in the desert. So that's one reason I feel um, my reading is correct. Also, the park might have a different re might have a different meaning. I'll talk to about that in a little bit. Um, so, <laughs> this is the reason I feel my reading is correct because usually my first ping is right, and usually it always is. You need to listen to that if you're learning and growing or whatever. Your first ping is usually right on. Um, they were pretty gentle and not very clear with things. I'm hoping that the more I communicate with them, the clearer picture I can get. I can get them to trust me more. So this was out by Edwards for Edwards Air Force Base or so about 20 minutes from it. And I'm wondering if that that is a reference point and an interconnect with the last Delphi reading because I got Edwards also told that the adoptive dad was ex-military and carried a knife. Now I'm curious if that part of my Delphi reading was also him. Might be an interconnect is all I'm saying. Um, so I did that reading, the Delphi reading, a day after they went missing. So. I see one of the boys, I believe the younger one, playing on the ground. I don't know if it's with trucks or cars or toys. It seemed to be cars, though. I get a reference to a Toy Story, to Toy Story, the movie. So I don't know if one or both of the boys like that show or what the reference is. But I also get a reference to some type of abuse. I don't know. It feels like maybe they weren't fed well or they weren't taken care of like the other kids. There seems to be a difference in the way they were treated. I also get a reference to two boys hiding in a closet at one point and hear yelling from a male. It feels like, you know who, without saying a name. Like I said, just psychic impressions. So I get that the older boy took care of the younger boy and they always tried to stay together. I feel that they were close and that there were just separation. There was just um, a separation with these two and then the rest of the family, if that makes sense. And like like they just uh, didn't belong or weren't treated the same. As I'm typing, I felt the younger one was a bit more shy, but they couldn't really be themselves. They were always watching their P's and Q's, walking on eggshells, I feel, at a certain point. I get laughter with the older boy that was pretty loud, so when he was laughing, he could be loud, but he feels very protective over the younger boy. I hear stomachs growl, and I don't know which one's which, because like, I don't know anything about the story or anything. So, um, I'm just going by older and younger and how they feel. So, I hear stomachs growl, so I feel that they did go hungry sometimes, whether it was punishment or what. I don't know if they shared a room, but it feels that way. And I don't know if it was just them or them and the other kids, but I see these two boys sleeping in the same room, and they showed me a lock on the door that maybe sometimes they were locked in. There's a reference to a male figure having a temper, but many didn't know about it. I'm shown uh, weed smoking, but it's possible other types of substances as I'm typing. I definitely get beer or alcohol. I get that he could play nice and act nice, but there was a lot that went on in the house that these boys that no one really knew. There's something about a neighbor knowing or hearing something, though. And I get a reference to something happening at night. Also, there's a reference to one of the kids, I believe the younger, one peeing in the bed at times or <laughs> having an accident. So I don't know why I don't, I don't uh, see like daytime. I only see night when this happened or when they were uh, put somewhere. Also, night came in, in nighttime came in my EVPs multiple times. So I think that was validation. I don't always use them, but sometimes I do if I'm having kind of a hard time or I need some validation. So I don't think they went missing when everyone said or, or did or the parents said they did. It feels, uh, you know, possibly before or maybe around it, but, um, so I feel a lot of lies surrounding these stories, and they have rehearsed the story. I get a reference to someone, something happening in a violent outburst, I believe, from the male. I didn't, don't see much from the female at this point. Like, she's in the background. And as I'm typing, they seem like lazy parents, and I feel bad for these poor kids. But I don't see that she was innocent in this. I do feel that there are, that the other kids could be in, even in danger at this point, to a point. The environment doesn't feel safe. Um, I keep getting, like... Uh, a lot around the male that is off the wall. I don't know if it's mental instability, anger, or if there were substances involved. It could be all of the above. Uh, I, I try to f 
to feel his energy and it feels just all over the place and a bit crazy but he doesn't come off like that really in person if that makes sense but he feels almost like uh, flies off the handle at little things so I don't know if he has things in his past that helps this maybe PTSD or something of that effect but he just feels way off uh, someone messaged me earlier saying you know they're probably sex trafficked I don't feel that way or I haven't gotten any information you know showing me that <clears throat> Because I've, I've tried to look that way, and any of the stuff that they've given me hasn't pointed that way. But like I said, you know, I'm human, I make mistakes, I might be missing something, but, um, I don't know. I just feel like something went way wrong. I mean, I could, like I said, I could be wrong, I'm not perfect, but, um, <laughs> I was given areas, etc., so I don't think so. Uh, I just pick up a lot, a ton of anger, and what's weirder is that I see the kids asleep in their beds when the guy comes in, and I don't know why they're showing that, so I don't know if he was angry at something else or what. I'm wondering if there wasn't sexual abuse, I don't know, because it was kind of confusing how it came across, that I'm not sure of, but I got a weird feeling with that. But the kids look asleep, and when I feel this happens, unless it's another time, um, and I'm not even sure why, like I don't really understand the motive, but I feel a lot of craziness from the male, and I don't know if he was ticked off at something earlier also i need to say like i said that georgetown came in delphi auto rights and a few years ago and that's the road you turn on to get to their house so i thought that was interesting um anyways i'm not sure what i'm seeing here let's just say it's not good and maybe i'm not shown everything it's not good and i'm i was emotional at the time so i'm also keep getting a reference to bags and being taken from the house at night in bags like black trash bags um and i always get the house so in the second reading that kind of made sense as to why I was getting the desert house but um, that's also what I saw for two nights and I was wondering if this guy like I said lost his job or something or there's some type of stress but I was getting something is up with the money in the house as well either he's spending it on something else or whatever but I see the room dark and other than that lights coming in from the outside I saw him walk in I can see the light from the other room peek through the crack and I see him in the doorway. And then they showed me the boys asleep. And I believe I get a reference to that's when it happened. Unless it's it's being shown for another reason. Like he watched them sometimes. But not in a loving way. But it just feels creepy. Um, but it, the way it comes across. Sorry. <laughs> the way that it comes across is that something happened. Um when he came into a room at night and I get a reference to a pillow and I'm not really sure why but they were showing me bits and pieces and as I'm typing I was getting a reference to being punched etc so I don't know if they have a light color van um I know it reminds me of kind of like an older style work van it doesn't seem like a newer one I think you can get the idea from what I'm saying but I think that he took them at night and they made up a story either the following day or when they felt like it was time People think the story is fishy. Cops, too. Just no, ev not really any evidence, though, um, that they need. Anyway, I mean, you know, other than just what they think they know. Yada, yada. Um, but anyways, the van was a bit louder sounding. So now I'm going to try to see if I can get a location. I think the park um, was so that I could locate more of the house. Unless, like I said, there's another reason, which might have come in the second reading. Because it came in when my friend said, I wish I could tell you where they lived. But, like I said, first thing. But then I was like, well, is there a park close by? Because I didn't know. And, you know, she validated. But, like I said, the first thing I saw when I was asked uh, to take the case was dirt or sand. And this is usually my thing for the desert. And when I was mentioned earlier, and that was mentioned earlier. So then I was there and I took a right from the house and then another right and it led me to a dirt road and it was long and I went down it for a ways and I did feel anxiety so I don't know why they pulled me that way because a lot of people throw their trash out there which you guys is ridiculous I don't think people should be throwing their trash in the desert it's wrong you know there's dumps for that but um, I mean there could be evidence out there no one would know because it's a mess um, I went down a little ways but then uh, I did go the way I was seeing it in my mind and this was the main road and then it took you to the desert. So then I left, you know, the area was and I went um, on this other road to the desert. And I, I did keep getting a reference to 15 minutes, so I wasn't sure why. There was a reference to a lot of sand. And I don't know, I was getting a reference to fast food places, etc. 
Uh, I don't know where the Wendy's comes in or why that makes sense, unless it's just to symbolize uh, restaurants because, you know, I know the Wendy's, but um, I didn't see one in this area that I saw. So I heard Boron, so I don't know if that was to tell me it's the desert or it's for another reason or um, saying that way. So the large pipe I kept having a vision of, I just don't know where it is. Um, and if it's for this location or for them, but it, I had seen it a couple nights when I was going to sleep. Um, I'm not sure what I was getting a reference to the pipe and then a lot of dust. So I don't know if it has to do with maybe they're near a drainage pipe. I don't know. Um, because that's something that just kept coming in. And when I was down that dirt road, I kept seeing the drainage pipe. I'm like, I need to go find this thing. And you should see me and my dog were going and looking in drainage pipes. It was kind of ridiculous. But, um, anyways, I got a reference to a lot of dust. I felt extremely dusty, like I wanted to cough because it's, it's, uh, really dusty. It looks like I take a dirt road. Um, it felt like my left, but sometimes things can come and flip. Uh, so there really wasn't a name. I know that P came in and I'm not really sure where it fits. So the pipe thing is going to be important for some reason or some case. Uh, I keep or kept getting it. So I don't, I don't see anything around me other than like cactus, bushes, and dirt. Uh, and I feel like an area that he knows. If I look in the distance, I can see the prison, which is weird because where I was today, I was getting a headache and stuff and I could see the prison. But it got dark on me, so uh, where I stood and looked today, I'll try to post, like I said, a picture in my video, or I'll have to add a video, but it was exactly like I saw my vision, it was about 17 minutes from the house, so that was interesting. Um, but I didn't get to look around well, uh, but that tripped me out, and I was by myself. So I'm shown that, like, you could see the prison, or there's a reference to it being close by, or you overlook it, whatever. So I thought when I was getting that, um, maybe he had a pass, but I don't think that. I think it's more for location-wise. Um, because I don't think people can foster adopt with the record unless it's someone he knows, but, um, or someone connected to the kids. But again, it came across like a part of a reference to the location. So I saw it from where he was at. So I don't think this area has been looked at where I'm thinking about, but I was getting reference to a cross. I thought maybe a church, but... I did see a cross at the end of this road where you turn. So I don't know if that's symbolic for the right road or not, but that was really interesting. I mean, what are the odds of that? It wasn't like a cross that people put up for people. It was just a cross to mark that turn of the road or to mark because that road goes to a different park. So, um, and I got a reference to Catholic for some reason, but I don't know why. But uh, there was a Catholic church close to the house that I saw. I did this reading the day before, so I saw that after, um, but where they are on the road doesn't feel, uh, doesn't feel too far from, like, the main road, because he did this at night with headlights, or that's what I was being shown, and I really think that they were buried, and they're not really deep, um, but then I saw the pipe, so that's all confusing, like, I don't know if it's just a reference point or what, but I get the feeling of being bur buried, though, or dust, a lot of dust in my lungs, and then they go back to the pipe. So I'm really not sure why I was getting both things, but I can feel dust in my lungs and I think the road is on the left. Like I said, they can be flipped depending on which way you're going. But I do know I kept seeing the prison lights in the distance, which coincidentally, like I said, I was there today on the 13th. So I could be totally wrong. People were probably like, who the hell is this red car driving around being weird? But um, if you happen to be in Cal City that day and you saw me, it was me. <laughs> So, um, I've had a lot going on energetically. This didn't feel like the strongest reading. Kids can be hard sometimes. I've had, uh, like I said, sometimes I've had kids that are really strong and they tell me, you know, exactly where they are. They've been really strong about stuff. And then I've had ones where like, you know, it's not clear and it's not strong. So I'm just doing the best that I can with it. So... Um, I do think that the adoptive mom is possibly scared of this guy, or that seems to be how it feels anyway. But I keep trying to see who's involved. They keep showing me him, but she's going along with everything, or is involved some way anyways. But I mean, she knows what happened, and she stood by for all of it. So, I did get 45, and which is can also be 54, but 
The 45, it was weird because where I had pulled over and stopped and I could see the prison, there was a road 145. And it was about 15 minutes away, so I thought that was interesting. Um, but I also got a reference to 7 and 5 that came in prior to the reading. So that was the first reading. Now the second reading is going to be a little confusing because I was kind of struggling back and forth and I had to kind of talk it out with my um, team member because I was just, I was conflicted because of what people were saying, what I was hearing, and then what I was getting and I was having a hard time trusting it. So I'm sorry if I ramble a little bit, but I was it was me trying to, um, trying to get a clear picture and trying to prove to myself that yes, my visions were right. So reading number two, 117, 20, 21. So things can be past, present, or future, also symbolic and have multiple meanings. As I stated before, people or places can be mentioned to be connections. I do get interconnects, but I try to focus on the boys only. As far as I know, I only got info for them and connections. But like I said, interconnects happen and I don't realize it. So also this, like I said, the second reading is a little bit different because I was trying to continue to pull info. So I was talking a bit to my team member and she was helping them both flow. Before I couldn't get the boys that clear, but I think this time I did, they started to feel at ease and I also felt relaxed a bit and they gave me validating information that I didn't know about prior. So they seemed shy and unable to really communicate as well as I needed previously. And so I was, I had wondered if they were even deceased, but I know that they were adamant in the second reading. Every time I tried to go to another area, they would pull me back. Having been physically in that location, they kept putting me back in the area I had been, showing me things I had seen while there, and would not let me stray away from it. So I'm only going by what I'm given, have no choice in this matter, so I'm trusting spirit. And please, I don't need guesses here, okay? I had enough issues with this case and trusting my gifts. Just because I try to go in blind and I keep hearing things people are saying or whatever really screwed me up. And it was more or less people in my group were talking about what people had said or what they were guessing about. Not names or anything, but just, you know, what they thought the situation was. So, here we go. This one's a little different in how I work. And I usually don't, like, talk to um, my team member during it. I usually just channel, but I was struggling a little bit. Um, and like I said, also being in, in the area was a little different as well. So... Well, I kept seeing this uh, building that I know is in Bakersfield, but it could just be a reference to something that I relate to. So, because I might relate to a, a similar building. Later, when I looked up the area that I was close to on Google, when you Google what, um, whether it's there or not, I don't know, but when you Google the name, it shows something similar, like uh, a building with these balls on top. Um, so anyways, it has balls on top and it has blue, blue and silver was how I was seeing it. But like I said, it might just be a reference to a similar building somewhere else. Just because I know what that one looks like. Sometimes they will reference things to me that I know or have seen in life. And it's just to say it looks like this. Or, or, I don't know, there's some kind of clue here. So, again, I think it's a reference to show me what something looks like. It reminds me of an Arabian church or something. Not... No idea why I was seeing that, but when I googled the park and the area I was in, it popped up on the pictures, and that could be why. But then I, I was switched to dust blowing and the whiteness of the desert, like I had seen in the tumbleweeds and the bushes, but like sand dunes, and then I went, then it went blank for a minute, but the fact that both readings are showing me the same thing, not trying to see it, it's very telling. Things always repeat and are the same if they are accurate, and usually your first ping is correct, and this is what I've always been told, and, and it's always usually been right. So, it's always been the desert from the very beginning. Then I, then I told Ashley one thing I was trying to figure out was if they were deceased, because after that I was shown, I asked them like in my head, and then I was shown little bones and a skull. So I'm guessing that they were trying to tell me and validate that for me. I kept getting reference to money again, but I don't know why. It could have any type of meaning having to do with money. Either they were short on it, I don't know. Um, and I don't know why I was shown lollipop smashed on the ground. And then I'm like, where are you? And then for some reason, like, it was weird. Like, he was standing outside my house pointing towards the way that I would go to the desert. You know, if you go over the mountains on the side or the way that I take to get there. Um... So at that point, I'm just like, am I leading myself or what? But I started to zone in more on the older boy. I was shown a toy fire truck, so I don't know if one liked one as a toy or if there's some kind of symbolic message there. And I don't know, I can't shake 
the not Bakersfield area. I know everyone says that, but when I try to go there, they take me away from there into the desert. And then I try to see where they were prior, and I only see a house. And I'm getting a little frustrated, as in this feeling a little bit like Dulce, and how I was trying to get information, and it wasn't easy. I was trying to sort it out what I felt, because I had been there, and then the info coming in. And I kept having this pain in the front, right here in the front of my throat. I didn't know if it was my issue or connected to them. After I said it, it went away, but it had happened the last couple of days on and off. But then, right before we started doing the reading, it happened again, and then a headache and an immense strain of energy right away. Also, when I hit that first certain part in the desert, I got a pain in the back of my head. And as soon as I got to Cal City, I got major anxiety, and I don't get that. I didn't get that anywhere else, but as soon as I hit that town... I got it. So I thought that was very telling as well. Um, so then I got a menstruation of energy right away. But I do see them holding hands, so I feel they are they were put together. And there's a reference to a striped shirt, I think, maybe. Um, and that one was wearing one, or wore one. It looks like blue with yellow stripes, I think. It was short sleeves. And then it's like when I tried to see them, I kept seeing a blast, black trash bag in a sandy area buried. I don't know if they were originally in the desert, but it feels like they are now, and I get a reference to a plane flying over and missiles. I don't know why. I kept seeing freaking sand dunes, like, in the desert, like, how they have dunes or hills, and I kept seeing those, and I don't know why now, as I was typing, I was hearing motorcycles, but I saw a little um, random dirt roads, and I kept trying to see if they could be near anything else, or I'm just saying that because... I felt they kept repeating it, but there's a mention of boron again, and I don't, that's the direction of boron, so I don't know why that's coming up, but, and then I know um, that I've been on that road personally, but I heard the words 20 mule road in my head, and I heard it, and so I don't know if that was confirmation or what, but there is still that reference to a prison like the lights can be seen from the area, or close to the area they are. And what's weird, too, is there's a reference to heels. Like, I feel like I'm going up, but I'm still in the desert, so higher in the desert. Which, there was a heel, or higher point, where I was at. Um, but they were reminding me of when I was out there, and like the top of the hill above the desert, there was this red light. So I don't know if it was a tower or what, but they kept showing me it. And I, it was weird, I always remember seeing it. And when I was at the cross, when I was standing at the cross, you can see it. And they were showing me that. And, I, and they kept repeating it. And I remember looking at, like, what the, what the F is this? What is, what is that? Are they watching me? It was weird. I don't know what it is. But um, I remember I could see it when I turned down the dirt road where the cross is. But I don't know. It didn't feel much. But they kept showing me that, like, the red laser light looking thing. So not sure why unless it's help with location. And then, I don't know why there's a mention of not Army, but Air Force. Lots of Air Force references right now. I get the blue fatigues and the planes and the missiles. And I keep trying to go back to Bakersfield. And it's like, nope. And they pull me back here. So, no matter what, I keep trying to go to Bakersfield. Which, I did visit Hart Park. The area I wanted to go get to. I didn't know how. It was on the opposite side. There's lots of dirt over there. I couldn't figure out how to get over there. But, I know, I keep trying to go back here to the desert in the reading. Or, I mean, I keep trying to go back to Bakersfield, and they're like, no, and they keep pulling me back to the desert. So, I don't think they're there. That's not what they're showing me. That's not what I'm getting um, anyway, or I'm feeling. I just keep getting desert references, and it's like they are reminding me of where I was. So, I think I was in the area or close by. I think I was, you know, on my way. It was like they kept giving flashbacks of my trip. And the road I was on, which again is weird. Never had that happen before because I haven't really been to many, many areas. So I'm thinking I was on the right road in the right area. Uh, I did go up the road to the park because I was trying to find and see there's park again. But I was trying to find the road to see the prison from which you do see it from there. Uh, you pass it. And then uh, I heard the cops were searching there because he was supposedly sighted. Anyways, that's one thing that's going around, but... Um, I went up the road to that park and I was like, I don't know where to go. It was getting dark. It felt eerie and the park was closed off. But interesting, there's a park there because like I said, I did get park in the very beginning, but it can also mean close to the house because I did pick that up when she was, when we were first talking about it and I was like, is there a house close to a park kind of thing. So when I say about multiple meanings, things can have multiple meanings. So 
Uh, I don't think they're in the Central Park one though, only because it's pretty busy. So I went up the hill, but if you go further, you can see that prison unless you go up. You can't see the prison unless you go up like high on the hill, I think you can see it. So I'm guessing that the prison is part of location. You pass it and maybe you can see it from where they are or it's just a reference point. But in the reading, I feel high up, higher up. I didn't feel that before. Like higher mountain desert. So maybe I needed to find a way up that mountain and go around there more because that got me, um, what got me is the cross right there and you turn at it which I did get a cross and I thought it was for a church when I saw it and you know, maybe it was just the reference point anyway you turn left at it and then and at that point you can see the red laser thing on the hill so if you take that road then you go sort of up a hill and it turns and you keep going like that um, the park is on the hill but um, it would also put him in the area that he was apparently seen in and I don't know why I kept seeing a maroon vehicle that sort of color don't know, not sure why also reference to a car seat not sure why either but it's weird they have me on that road in my vision so I don't know WTF the light is there for but I see and feel it like desert I know how the terrain looks in Bakersfield this is not it and it's like they keep putting me back to where I was no matter how much I try to leave it and try to go somewhere else and say well are you sure you're not here so maybe I was close because if I felt strongly about Bakersfield, I would have gone that way instead, and I just didn't. I was being pulled to the desert, but I was drawn to the road on the map when they were looking prior, the same road I ended up on, so maybe they were validating. And what's weirder is I didn't know when I got to that road that it was 20 mule road, so that's even crazier. So I ended up on the road that I was drawn to. So I think they just, and it's, it's really easy, like you turn from the house, you make a left, and then you make a right at the light, and it takes you right that way. So it's super easy to get there from their house. Um, and then when I see him burying them, or whatever, he looks back, I can see the lights in the prison. It seems to be super important. It's very eerie out there, and I felt like I was being watched. I, I didn't know if it was the government, spirits, or the land, but it felt very weird. Um, but they kept showing me that red light for some reason reason and you know I looked at every freaking drainage pipe I passed because I kept seeing that if it was a reference point or what and I don't know what's beyond the area I turned back at but like I said I ended up I was looking in that one drainage ditch and then that bird started chirping at me randomly it was kind of weird so um the it, gallows park or whatever it's called I keep being drawn um to the name Dawn, and I don't really know why. Um, so I'll just say it in case it fits somewhere. Because I saw a road when I was leaving, and it had that name on there. Um, and just I'll just say it just in case it fits. So I keep trying to see if I'm wrong, or if I get more information um, to where I was on that road. Because I kept seeing, trying again to see if they were in Bakersfield, and they just kept putting me back to where I was. So they pulled me back, and this was happening throughout the reading. I was just like, okay, are you sure not Bakersfield? And then they kept pulling me back over there. So honestly, getting that and being so strong and being so adamant, I think desert, not Bakersfield. But that's only from what they show me and what I've had weird thoughts about. And why, as I'm doing this reading, something kept coming to me. And if a few times they kept showing me they were kept in a tote or something of that nature and then moved to the desert, like took them in a tote and then, so it is possible they were killed in Bakersfield and then it's like they were um, put in a tote <laughs> and taken with their stuff and then at the right time at the night disposed of them. So I had even wondered if they were sex trafficked. I tried to see um, if I got anything on that because I have not had a reading with that in it yet. But when I see the anger in the sky and they keep showing me the desert and bones, I keep having this weird thing come to me that they kept their bodies in something that was packed with their stuff. I know it's weird. I don't put anything past anybody. Um, watching Forensic Files and shows like that, like anybody's capable of anything. So I don't know why that kept coming in. But it came in three or four times during the reading. So I think they took this tote with them and then disposed of them and made up the story. But that comes in a few times when I think I'm just going crazy. Um, if he was into sex trafficking, I had wondered if I was wrong and they were sex trafficked because someone had mentioned it to me. But like I said, I never seemed to get those cases or that kind of information. I did not get that kind of information with this case. So not sure how it would look because when I asked their deceased, I was shown both. So 
but they kept um, taking me to the area I was at, so maybe just further where I turned around at. And they kept bringing that up. Maybe the tower's reference point, like I said, sandier part of the desert. I could hear coyotes howl. I don't know if there's a marker or what, but the word marker came in an EVP, and I don't think there's rocks in that area. I don't know, desert. it's a desert, but it can be symbolic, but I think I see a rock uh, placed on them, unless it's just, you know, symbolic for a marker, but it felt like sandy part of the desert. Um, they ca also, Sandy came in the EVP as well, but they were showing me cops and said they didn't go far enough or look in the right area, I think. Um, I think maybe they were close by, possible. And I get a reference to five minutes, maybe past the park, maybe, because that's when it was coming in after they showed me the cops. So maybe they were within five minutes. Um, but uh, whenever I try to say, okay, show me where you are, this is where they take me back to the desert. So I'm pretty positive they have to be around there. They never take me anywhere else, and I've never seen anywhere else. But when I try to get more information on what happened and all that, um, I wasn't being shown that was the focus just bits and pieces I get. So I'm shown an Indian man. I don't know what that means. I don't know. They show me chicken nuggets. So I don't know if they liked uh, McDonald's, but probably I was craving it the day I went out there and I had to have some. So I was trying to get some validating info. They try, they could be tired from everyone pulling at them or just not really know how to communicate that well, but it was just blank. And then they showed me again possible killed in Bakos brought to the desert on the move. It's weird, but it kept coming in. And now they show me a water tower, which um, there are many of them out there, but I guess there's one in this area. And there's reference to the color blue. At the same time, they show me Christmas. Now I know apparently they were missing before, but I don't know why they're showing me that. Maybe they thought um, it would be better to hide them in the desert. Not sure, but... Or if they're saying... I don't really know where they were. I don't know the story, but I just know that I was shown Christmas lights Christmas. Um, but I, I don't know. I feel crazy at this point. So it keeps being shown to me, so I'll trust it. A uh, reference to the little R. Now, like I said, things can have multiple meanings. I was told later that that's the bio mom's name or something. I don't know. But there is there is an R road that you turn on where the cross is. So that could have, been, have another meaning. But I'm trying to ask, like, what happened and why. But then it comes in again about starving, being hungry at times, or being starved at times, or treated them different, abused them, they didn't feel loved, and they only had each other. Truly sad. And I don't know, this dude has a temper, I don't know if he drinks, but I feel like when he drinks, he can become mean, honestly. Uh, selling them makes more sense, however, that wasn't what came in, so I don't know, they just kept taking me back to the desert. Um, so temper could have been lost with them. I see uh, one being grabbed by the arm. I also get a psychopathic tendencies with this guy. I don't know if they adopted them from a family member or someone close to the family or something. I don't know. I get links to somewhere else in the family. Also drug use somewhere. There's a reference to a sister and I get a name like Jackie. This was validated during the reading. I don't know the name of anyone involved. Just what people were saying where they thought they were that was throwing me off. So I think one of the kids had hyperactive, maybe ADHD, or was just full of energy. Uh, they can be hard to handle at moments. I mean, they are boys. Uh, I kept having to coax them for information. And I don't know, when I'm thinking now of like the totes, if they were saw Christmas, then it would have been in the desert. So it's possible that the totes mean something else. Maybe they put their bodies in there and took them to the desert or something. I, I don't know. I just keep be seeing like them being in one. It's weird. So, however it fits, it fits. Uh, so then, I think one of the kids have hyper, had hyperactive, maybe ADHD, or was just full of energy. They can be hard to handle at moments, and I mean, they're boys. I keep having to coax them for more information, but more validating things were coming in. The more I talked, the more they came in. Then I asked um, if the name was more like Jacqueline, uh, to Ashley, who was doing the reading with me, and I was told yes. So I got some screaming at them and, and kind of losing it at moments, but did most of the work with the kids. I do feel like it was a lot harder for her to handle. Uh, I feel like he just wasn't present, like, as far as, like, I don't know if he's just sitting on the TV couch, watching TV, not paying attention, you know, that kind of thing. Um, and... I feel like it was a lot for her to handle. I think they started out thinking they wanted him, but really shouldn't have taken them on. 
uh, they start to feel like a burden and then I'm asked uh, if there were tattoos because I was seeing tattoos on dark skin I don't know if he or someone else has ties to a gang or drug trade or someone does but I keep getting a reference to drugs and I also kept getting uh, getting like this came in the first reading as well that he does drink or he has to because I keep seeing him drunk and mean at this point, my left arm hurt, and I thought maybe from being grabbed, and then the pain ran to my heart, which was weird. Um, it comes across as something happening to the younger boy, and then the older one saw they had to kind of do away with them as well, him as well, but I do get a reference to the man coming in the room at night for some reason. And I was typing this, I had deja vu on this case for some reason. Uh, I also get a T, and I don't know why. I was told by my team member that that was his initial, I had no idea. And again, I don't know the names of those involved. I was trying to stay completely blind. It was just that it got back to me about, you know, them being a bigger school or whatever people were thinking. So after getting this validating information, then I was feeling comfortable that it was spirit. I don't know. They were too too rough on the little one, and the bigger one saw that kept coming in. And then I asked if they were in contact with Bio Mom because I was getting some kind of anger or something towards her. I kept getting a reference to smaller one, the smaller one's head. And I don't know if they were angry over something with the bio mom, you know, the, the parent, the adopted parents, but that kept coming in. I saw one of those armbands that they have in the military with the sergeant stripes on it. So I don't know, I'd be curious to see what rank it was or if a sergeant knows something, but they show me that. It was like the green, army green kind, and it was around the right arm, I think. And I think they wear that when they do training or whatever, but they were showing me that. I don't know if one of them liked juice boxes, but I was shown that. I get a reference to a lot of secrets, and I don't know if there is a re reference baseball for the older one, or it has to do with location, or both. But I did see baseball fields out there, and I was seeing a baseball and mitt. So I don't know, it's weird. At first, I saw like smiles and happiness in the beginning, and then it just got different. Uh, parents became mean and cold, just a major change, drastically, and also it was hidden well, too. Everyone thought they were happy and okay. Wondering if they lived upstairs because I was getting stairs to an apartment. I got a reference to going upstairs. And again, they showed me Christmas lights. So they may have went missing around Christmas time, really. I don't know how long they've been in the desert. The tow It might not be that they took, um, took them from Bakersfield to um, Cal City in a tote. It might be that whenever they decided to go put them wherever, they were in a tote. I know it sounds weird, but that keeps coming in, and um, now that I'm seeing that I got Christmas lights, okay, it makes me wonder, you know, if they were alive to see the Christmas lights, or if they're just saying that's when it was said that they were missing. Um, and it's kind of how you, it come, it's hard to see what they mean by it sometimes, it kind of fits how it fits. Uh, so... I was also seeing a dog collar, and then I was seeing a dog that reminded me of a blue-nosed pit. I don't know if that's the same dog as the dog collar, but that was referenced. And I think at times um, they were mean to the dog as well. At this time, my cat was, like, peeking around my shoulder, and I looked, and there was no other cat, so I don't know what she was looking at. So it was possible she was seeing spirit because she kept, like, looking around me, like, to hear. Um, there was nothing there. So, and then my eyes felt like... Uh, I would, had been crying all night. It was weird. So, when you look up Gal Galado Hill or whatever park, it's weird because I don't know if it's a Minecraft thing or what, but it's got those buildings with the round things on them, so I don't know if that was validation or what. So anyways, I'm going to try to attach my trip pictures to this and video. If I can't, I'll be making a separate video. So, thanks you guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more work. Sorry if there was kind of some rambling on here, but like I said, I was trying to make sure that I was correct on this because everybody seems to be getting Bakersfield and I, that's just not what I'm getting, so sorry about that. Trusting what I'm getting. I'll see you guys next time.